Rocket Power was an action cartoon on Nickelodeon based around family relationships and extreme sports. Both were all the rage in the late 1990s. It's possible Nickelodeon was looking to cash in on Tony Hawk, Tech Dex, and BMXing when they aired four seasons of Rocket Power from 1999 to 2004. One thing's for sure, we will be taking a look at Rocket Power figures by Mattel and Burger King. Mattel created two assortments of Rocket Power figures in 2001. First, the Rev Ups line. Real revving sounds. Rechargeable motor inside board. Charger gets you ripping in 10 seconds. Toys make you sad in one second when you realize Sam the Squid wasn't produced. Ah, shoobies! The Rev Ups line worked like this. You let the charger charge the figure with three AAA batteries for only 10 seconds. Then the figure zooms for 10 seconds. $4.99 would get you your choice of a Rev Up skateboard figure. Who will it be? Twister? Reggie? Otto? It won't be Sam. The Rev Ups line saw two box sets. The Mad Town Skate Park and a Street Illusion box set, both of which came with a figure. The skate park has spring-loaded trash cans and multiple ramps. The set works in multiple configurations. Next up were the minimally articulated extreme figures. These are different than the Rev Ups line as they are not motorized. First up, Scooter Scorching Auto. I'm pretty sure this wasn't a racer. Second, Board Blasting Twister. These figures are also in scale with the skate park. Burger King also released a set of figures with Big Kids Meals in 2002. Let's take a look. Rocket Power has landed at Burger King. Now in every Big Kids Meal, you can get an excellent Rocket Power figure. These figures came packed in colorful bags and with a small poster insert. Each figure included a magnet attaching accessory. Otto came in a blue bag with a scooter and a snowboard. Squid came in a red bag with an off-road skateboard. Twister came in a green bag with a sailing surfboard and skimboard accessory. Reggie came in a yellow bag with a blue skateboard and purple off-road board. Luckily for collectors, these also look good with the Madtown Skate Park. Comparing the two lines, I think Rocket Power's Burger King line of figures was the more exciting set. If you're going to do a figure assortment based on a TV show, it's crucial to include all the main characters if you're going to do it justice, <clears throat> Mattel. Heck, I didn't even know about it until stumbling on it doing research on the Ah Real Monsters video. Rocket Power hasn't seen much movement in terms of collectibles being made until Culturefly started their subscription service, which included this Tech Deck style skateboard and a surfboard bottle opener. Hey, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Check us out at figurecollections.com and be sure to subscribe to see other toy lines that went under the radar.